Um, I studied art uh, as a killing time somewhere somehow in uh, behind bars. I mean, some few years ago. When I started art, I started by creating like you know uh, birthday cards for other inmates. Then it moved up and up in in a way that I I started do, uh, doing portraits of other inmates so that they can give uh, to their uh, family outside. Seeing also other inmates admiring my work and you know like they would talk about me, they would respect me uh, and seeing the respect from the wardens, it was like something to inspire myself and, and, and art to, and, and my career as an artist, you know. When I came out in prison, I had, like, I collected a lot of my work, you know, like I had a, a large collection of my work, but it was on um, an unprepared canvas and then I was using um, uh, fabric paints, which uh, is it's, it's the only uh, art material that is allowed. Uh, one of the guys that I introduced my work to, he told me that this is a called Gothic art because it's, it's on fabric, it's like just images that is painted and, and the fabric is unprepared, all this and that, you know. Then when I came outside, I was, I, I had those collections. Uh, within five days when I came outside, I met a guy called Reggie. Uh, he had a project that he was running, uh, sponsored by David Hood, called um, Tex Art Program. Like that moment when the guy saw my work, he jumped on my work and he even bought like one of the pieces uh, for 800 rand, which, which inspired me a lot, you know. First chick that loved me saw me doing <laughs> those portraits and I did her portrait and she was like, wow, she just instantly fell in love with me. I mean, the work speaks, not me.